Alright people, welcome back to more Fake Card Friday. So today we are looking at a Fright for a card. And uh, yeah, you can clearly see it's a fusion. So they already have their own kind of poly, they already have their own kind of miracle fusion. So what else are they possibly missing from their freaking deck? Which of course is why this card is called Fright for a Dream, because they wish they had this fucking card. They dream in their sleep about this card. Yes, once again, it is another Someone from the deck card. <clears throat> you guys know how I feel about freaking fusing from the deck. I think it's really stupid. I, I I think it goes against the whole mechanic of of fusing, in my opinion. When you can just fuse from the deck. Like, what's next? Fucking, so, oh, if your opponent controls a synchro, uh, a special monster, you can send a tuner monster and a non-tuner monster from your deck to the graveyard to go ahead and synchro summon. You can, if your opponent controls a special summon monster, you can send two monsters from your deck that have the same level to XE summon, and then attach them to XE material? Like, no! It's fucking busted! Like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. When you fusion summon, you're supposed to neg. When you XE fusion or, uh, synchro summon, you are supposed to neg. You're supposed to take resources you have, lose resources, but you get a more powerful monster. But when you have cards like Shadal Fusion, where it's just like, oh, you have an extra deck monster, Shadal Fusion, one... For one, except all my Shadal monsters get a you know great artifact. Oh, freaking Red Eyes Fusion, Gem Knife, you know, like like what the hell? Like stop, stop. So this person totally decided to go ahead and make a card like that for Fright First, but of course it is fake. Yay, it's fake. And Konami don't get any goddamn ideas. I mean, it looks pretty legit though. He he went through the the effort of putting you know the what what card is what sets from Cross Souls and you know even put the the. Kazuki Takahashi. So he put 2015, which I think, I think, I think all the trademarks are at 1996, and then the first edition should be at the bottom. But you know, this, this, I mean, hell no. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at this card. So this is Fright for a Dream. It is a normal spell card, and it reads: Fusion Seven One Fright for a Monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or your side of the field of fusion material. So serves just like a normal poly for Fright Furs. Uh, just like uh, Shadal Fusion serves for Shadals. But it has an additional fact. If your opponent controls a special summon monster, monster it doesn't even have to be summoned from the extra deck, like, uh, you know, no, like Shadals. But then you can't just play it whenever, like uh, Red Eyes Fusion. Yeah. So your opponent has to control a special summon monster or monsters. You can use up to three monsters from your deck. Yeah, three monsters from your deck, because this would be kind of dumb if you could just use as many as you want, you know? Yeah, a lot of them don't really specify, so he decided to go ahead and put three, because if he didn't, you'd just be like, alright, well, you can control a special summon monster, so Fright for a Dream. Let me go ahead and send all these fucking Fright Furs, and then, like, one fucking, uh, you know, chain summon tiger, and then pop, 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 or, or even worse, just go ahead and just play it, fucking send a whole bunch, fucking summon a wolf, tack, 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 game, you know, so, uh, three, but there's, there's more, and or extra deck from, for, as fusion material, so, he pretty much is allowing you to go ahead and fusion summon into that one uh, super fright for fusion combination one, which I think is like a, a fusion of three fright for monsters. I think that the extra deck monsters. Yeah. So you can go ahead and play this, fuse from your extra deck three of them, and then go ahead and summon that. So, yeah. Uh, which is pretty powerful. Uh, you cannot normal or special summon monsters except. This card's effect during turn you activate this card you can activate one fright for a dream per turn, so uh, pretty much this it's just actually all fusion. Your opponent controls an extra deck monster. Uh, oh, not even extra deck monster, just a special summon monster. You go ahead and play this, and then fuse from your deck, and then, you know, pop it up, because it's probably what you're going to do. Just like Hushadals, their go-to card is construct. This card's clearly depending on how strong the field, it's, it's going to be Tiger, and Tiger's already, you know, the, the best card in the deck anyway, so, for you to just be able to go, like, oh, you control a special summon monster, alright, fight for a dream, go ahead and send three from my deck, summon Tiger, pop three, you know, every single time, it's just power, you know, it's just very powerful, but, of course, you cannot normal or special summon monsters, uh, during the turn you activate this, so it's just, like, at least it's balancing, like, a uh, Red Eyes, uh, fusion, so, has a nice little combination of both Shadal Fusion and Red Eyes Fusion, but it is very, very powerful, you know. So, uh, let's go ahead and read what the creator says and see if there's any comments by people. So, uh, the creator said, uh, some actual good and meta support for Fluffles. I thought of making this card was to give Fluffles an easy way to fusion summon the Fright Furs. 
especially Mad Chimera, because you guys know Mad Chimera is kind of difficult unless you have that kind of miracle fusion for Fluffles. But you already have to have three uh, Fright Freddy's already in the grave, so um, Mad Chimera, it's not as suitable as Shadow Fusion since Fright Freddy's require you to send Fluffles and Edgems, uh, but in a way better than Shadow Fusion, always open to uh, constructive criticism. So uh, it's just as fun, like I said. Shadal's monsters go to monsters construct while yours would be tiger so you get three pops but you know it's kind of not as good because you're sending fluffles and edgems which i guess depending on which edgems you send you may get a search or something but you know you're not going to be pleasant as hard as what Shadal's do of course but uh yeah so let's go ahead and read someone actually commented so he said this card is I has a pretty glaring issue, that being Fright for Wolf becoming an OTK machine with this card and that Tiger can pop upon his tire throat. So I'm assuming that he added in the the three after, because like I said, if he didn't add in the three, uh, it would totally be uh, like an OTK machine or Tiger popping an entire field. Uh, on top of that, you can trigger the effects of plenty of uh, Fluffle Munches, right? Yes, you can, you know, um, I don't get to search. There's plenty of uh, ways you can go ahead and uh, plus, but not as hard as Shadal's, but still plus. The Fiber Fusion treating is also a bit over the top. Its restriction doesn't matter at all since Fluffles don't have any need for anything other than their own monsters. Okay, so I, I'm assuming that he made a restriction like you cannot know summon a search summon any other monsters except for uh, Fluffles, but of course, they only really play Fluffles. So, yeah, it's good that he changed it to, like, the Red Eyes Fusion Restriction, where, uh, you cannot normal summon a special summon, uh, any other monsters, except for this card, no monster summon off of this card, and then trying to activate this. Uh, what else? I'm sorry, mate, but as much as I like Fluffles making a Shadal Fusion, that's, <coughs> that's even better for them than Shadal is, uh, is not, I guess, a, a dying. So, uh, obviously, perfect, uh, thanks to this guy right here. Uh, it's criticism, constructive criticism. He balanced he balanced the card because I can already imagine how the card was before he balanced it. Because uh, then the guy he created says thanks for the advice. I guess in all my thought of helping Fluffles, I might have un overdone it. Uh, I'm going to limit and restrict the card and most likely remove the fright for a fusion part. You know, so uh, you know there you go, there you go. So uh, this card went from broken to uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this card existed. You know, again okay, literally if some card like this. Ex you know, popped up all of a sudden by Konami in like an upcoming set, I wouldn't be surprised. Because overall I can actually see this as a as a fluffle fright fair card. So uh tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support and I will see you guys uh next Friday with another fake card to look at. Alright people, thanks for watching.